Hello everyone, this is the Sanatsu, and as I might have said in my previous video, this is Balia. I am not sure if I say the name right, but you know, is it Palia? Is it Balia? Is it... Is, is the eye silent? Or is there something else going on? I have no idea. So, here I am, in my own place, and um, this is not quite the start of the game, actually. I have been playing this for um, half a week, probably. Yeah, something like that. So, unfortunately, you guys cannot see the starting of this game, and but I can, I can say that... Um, it's the it's first time in many years that I have cried for something happening in the game. So the start of the game is basically you create your own character. You name the character and then you get to be born again. There is this kind of like uh, eerie voice telling something about your journey, I guess, if I remember correctly. The words are a little bit hazy for now, but the very beginning of this game happens in this place. So, you are born from the mist. And humans are supposedly, I guess, extinct in this game, but suddenly humans are back and we are one of the humans. We came from up there, there was a mist, and this is supposedly our god. And uh, I just offered my ble uh, I communed. Commune, I can't speak, sorry. Communed with this uh, god and uh, it gave me focus. So this is the place where you start basically and the first person who is going to talk to you is a person called Gina. If I pronounce the name right, I am not totally sure. But Gina is here with her companion, who is a golem. Golem? Golem? Yeah, golem. And um, as I leave this place, they leave too at some point. And you just start your journey with whatever uh, tasks you are getting. And the view from here is quite nice. That's the village. Some of the ruins can be seen. And you can jump off from here. I have tried. <laughs> uh, this door here opens later. I'm just gonna you know, to start to play this game. Which I highly recommend. This is a thing. You should. And uh, I'm not going to go into too much what I have already done, like on you know, the big, uh, big tasks and uh, places. But I'm just gonna like briefly run around here right now and gather some stuff, for example. So, in this game, you can catch bugs, uh, farm, gather some ingredients, chop wood, and uh, mine, get friends, hunt, and you can even have a romance. I am not sure what that means, uh, ultimately. 
because I am not uh, too far with any of the characters just now. One character is level 3 with me and that means just uh, that they trust me enough to let me see their own personal room. And this is the person I said, said uh, earlier, Gina. So, she's the one who discovered me, basically. I think I was not the first one to ascend from uh, from that mist, because uh, she said that there has been others too. Are you in need of something? And this is the golem that is her companion. Be good to my Gina. Yeah. And <laughs> she's kind of like a caretaker to Gina. Oh, I think she said Gina. My bad, it's Gina. Okay. And this time, I should have just gone with my Finnish pronunciations. <laughs> By Yina and Hekla. Um, the game is adorable. Very cute. Um, everything, um, everything is kind of, kind of like European, kind of like Asian in a way. On, on aesthetics, how everything looks, but you should, you know, venture and see for yourself what I mean with that. There is one big farm here, and uh, this boy here, I think he's like. Uh, Probably in his late teens, early twenties, something like that. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, he's one of the uh, characters you can romance, I believe. Yes, and this is his mom. His dad, bathroom, and then uh, oh, and he she was Delilah. Um, he also has a little brother called Aumi. I'm not sure how other people say his name, but I say Aumi. Obviously, easier to say. And base it on that Yina was Yina and not Gina. I'm gonna go that. Uh, my pronunciations uh, are not too far off with these characters here. So, there are some ruins, as I said, and uh, places to fish here also. Like, this is very near to the village, to the town. And uh, yes, this is quite fun in a way. Not as easy uh, as in some other games. I like fishing in Sea of Thieves a little bit better than in this one, but that's only because I'm used to it. So I kinda falsely kinda think <laughs> that it's better. Only because I know. Uh, this is a multiplayer game, like uh, in the server you can have a lot of people at the same time with you and you can ask them to be your friend if you want, for example, but I'm not usually accepting anyone. The friends I do have are either friends I already know or some people like I, I think I have few people that have helped me and I helped them and it kinda like grew with that so okay
Thank you, Chell. Or yell. Yes, I am me. My outfit, uh, my outfit is very me, as it always is. He is the tailor. And then we have an inn here. In the inn we have... Uh, is not here actually right now this is the mayor major and he's a little I don't know soft and uh, uh, maybe a little like I won't imagine him to be the actual to major if I didn't know he was <laughs> And uh, as you can see, he was talking about lo longevity noodles, and uh, that is Asian thing to eat, I think. Um, I don't remember if it was specifically Chinese or Japanese meal longevity noodles, but nevertheless, um, like I said, this place is heavily European Asia type of place depending on where you are and what you find I don't have lucky coins of course um, this is a general store I, I would say or like well more like a grocery store and uh, I would like to show the secret place but I just, I should not show everything. And this is Auni, uh, from the farmer family, yes. He's the bug hunter. And also, he's, he's a child. And there is another child also, but uh, the the girl doesn't live in this uh, town. She's in Bahari Bay, and that's an, another area attached to this. So it's like big area of Belia, <laughs> big area of Bel Balia. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> these, <laughs> these words here are funny, sometimes very, um, but this is, I, I would say, I would dare to say that this is uh, for like maybe 13 plus year old players. There's nothing too graphic going on, but there is funny situations where I'm thinking like, yeah, all the adults will know what you mean, basically. Um, but it's, it's cute and funny. Uh, we can go for a little tour here. So, like I said, there's many characters, uh, NPCs, so to say, village villagers. That you can romance in this game, but there is also characters you cannot. Thank you, Einar. Uh huh. <laughs> is this not what all beings do? It's what I do. Fortunately, not all beings. Ah! Not. <laughs> I feel badly for beings who must work. <laughs> Thank you, Einar. I feel badly for me too. For, uh, for many people. Mm. Having to work is quite a drag sometimes. 
I could not bear to spend so much time away from my oneness. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. This golem, he can live how he wants, and uh, he was talking about oneness. So that's something he enjoys to do. It's more than a hobby. It's not a work, though. So it's just this golem enjoys fishing, and that is his joy of life. He is capable, capable of talking about something else than fishes though, uh, so that's good. And also, he can be romanced if you somehow like machines, which is fun. Uh, and I think that was my first <laughs> idea that maybe I should <laughs> have, have Einar as my partner. But this game has been so fun that, um, honestly, let's forget about the romance aspect so far. It's, it's too far away. Uh, actually, get in my grasps. Okay, so I, I haven't shown anything, like, actually interesting. Perhaps, mayhaps, but still something. And without uh, diving into this area too much, we are going to Bahari Bay, and that is the other area you can go, and you will go a lot in this game. Is it here? Yes. And in Bahari Bay there is the rest of the, uh, so to say, like, citizens, I would say. It's like, um, if that was the village, or like, uh, the city kind of back there, where we were, um, this is like, a rural area. And uh, it is kind of big. There is beaches, and there has been like uh, probably ships and all all that uh, jazz uh, in ancient times or old times, and there is like few people living here: uh, Tamala, uh, Hodari, and Nayuma, and uh, these two are father and daughter. And then uh, the person is not here right now so so he is back in Kilima village um there is this person who is a hunter and oh boy he's a difficult in nature in my opinion you talking Hodari. to me huh. you gonna chat with this hot dog <laughs> okay Nice. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you around. Why are you tracking your voice like that? See you around. Yeah, I can't copy that. I can't. Um, where is the girl? Nayuma. Nayuma. Not here. Hmm. Oh, she's there. Uh, which way? Oh, crap. Of course. Okay, fine. Let's not go there. Yeah, also in this game, like you just noticed, uh, certain depth on water will make you instantly drown and the game just throws you back into the uh, land on, on the place you were previously standing. ever fight with any of your family like I fight with my dad <laughs> oh. I mean okay we could go with my real life but the fact that in this game I just appeared out of nowhere I do not have a family no don't be sorry Okay. 
Can I give you something? Do I have anything in my pocket that you would like? Uh, mm, unless she likes this one, I don't think I can give her anything. I can try. Okay, no. Yeah. And the thing, thing with uh, gifts in this game is also that you have to figure out what the people like. Or like these NPCs basically. Um, it doesn't matter what the other players like unless you are doing tasks. And speaking of tasks, you go here like uh, on requests and you can request an item. Let's see, let's just, let's just put that for example because I need this but I don't know. I can't uh, get this easily, so I hope that other players are gracious enough. And then there is fulfill requests, and you can fulfill other people's requests. Uh, right now, there's nothing. No one has requests anything, and that's just because in this server, <laughs> apparently, no one needs help. Uh, for now, it it will change. And the servers will change, of course. Hmm. No, I think I have to go back to my housing plot, probably. Yes. Yeah. So... MMORPG. I, yeah, I'm, I'm close enough. Close enough with this... Uh, Mork, yeah. I'm trying to. Thanks for the copper bar and one silver bar, and I'm taking this back and uh, my first silver bar. Yes, I did. Yeah, thank you. I had to do something. What was that? Oh, yes. Um, I have a stupid kind of like uh, thing to do. For that, I need a mixing station. This is quite sad. I do need it. I already have one, but the game, for some reason, needs two of them. So I'm taking these. Uh, let's see. Wait, I'm gonna put that here that there and that can go here right makes sense uh let's make this kitchen look like a generic one i think okay i'm gonna move this one here with uh the yeah okay There we go. And what did I had to do? Fix. Yes. What do I... Oh, I need sweet leaf. Okay. I used to have that, but uh, I have been doing other stuff because I had to wait. Wait for the copper. Oh, let's see. Sweet leaf. We have. I take two of those. Whatever. Whatever. Um, probably need that anyway. Mix it. Mm, yes, there we go. Make it. Oh. Why? Now I can't move at all, I can't do anything. Did I crash? No, not crashing, probably. Yes, resume. I can't do anything right now. I guess it's done for some reason. At least soon. 
No, it's not. It's it's getting spoiled because I can't stir for some reason. I think. Oh goodness. Am I losing the ingredients? Oh my god. Why? Why? Oh oh and I am stuck actually. Now now I see. I actually am stuck. Oh no. Can I? Can I quit game? Oh no, thank you. Oh no. Announcements. Yeah. Oh well. Well, that was a brief, brief talk about Pelia and. Um, me ruining the heckin' macarons, so now I have to somehow save it again. And me, I'm just, I don't know, happily stuck. This has been the Sanotsu. <laughs> and I hope the next video of about this game is better. <laughs> Let's not get stuck next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>